Hi, this is Brandon Martins. I am the president of the Realtor Association of the Sioux Empire for 2014. I'm going to go over a couple quick stats with you and some additional information that I was able to gather over the last week. Um, one thing we're really looking at that's kind of exciting is we're watching the closed sales number really close in on what 2013 had. We are only down 6.4% compared to a year ago. So that is actually bringing those numbers closer together like we've been talking about the last couple weeks with pending sales up. So that has helped quite a bit. Again, pending sales are up 53%. So we're watching those pending sales continue to climb. So I really think the last four months out of the year are really gonna show us that 2014, now that we have inventory on the market, is really going to be a great year for real estate in Sioux Falls. Also, want to touch base on a couple other things. I was in Bismarck, North Dakota last week for the Convention of the Dakotas, and that's a real estate convention. And we were able to spend some time with our friends from the north and compare kind of some of the stats between the two states. And they're dealing with a lot of the same things we are, dealing with inventory and everything um, that we talk about on a monthly basis is the same thing. The one real cool comparison is, is Sioux Falls and Fargo. If we put those two side by side, our average sale price between the two cities was only $632 difference. So it was really kind of fun to look at those numbers um, and just imagine that it's $632 cheaper to live in Sioux Falls than it is to live in Fargo on the average price of homes. Just kind of fun information to watch these two states grow and just continue to uh, watch people move into the neighborhood. So if you have any questions, make sure you contact your realtors. Let's continue to make the last part of the year good and push forward to an awesome 2014. And thank you very much. This is Brandon Martins. Have a great day.